most discussions of nature in the backyard are about birds and butterflies or small mammals such as squirrels. But what about amphibians? Is there room for them in your backyard, even if you don't have a pond? You bet there is. The American toad and red-backed salamander are two amphibians that are very likely to be found in backyards all around the Syracuse area. Unlike the smooth, moist skin of frogs, toads have dry, warty skin. But don't worry, you will not get warts from a toad because they don't have actual warts, but rather just bumpy skin glands that we call warts. However, toads do have parotid glands located right behind their eyes. These glands contain toxins that they use as a defense against predators. These toxins won't harm you, but they might irritate your skin a little bit. So it's a good idea to wash your hands after handling a toad. The American toad can be found almost everywhere. In the spring, it needs shallow water nearby to lay its eggs, but the rest of the year, it just needs a moist hiding place during the day and plenty of insects and worms to eat at night. Another backyard resident is the red-backed salamander, which is the most common salamander in New York State. It has a red stripe down its back and a salt and pepper belly, although sometimes the red stripe can actually be gray instead. They live in forested areas on the ground under logs, rocks, and other debris, and are one of the few salamanders not associated with bodies of water because they actually lay their eggs on land. Like all amphibians, both are ectotherms, or cold-blooded, which means they cannot regulate their body temperature. So how do they make it through the winter? Terrestrial species like the American toad and red-backed salamander hibernate by digging down into the soil and then they wait there below the frost line for spring and warmer weather to come. Both the American toad and red-backed salamander are common amphibians in backyards because they do not depend on water as much as most other frogs and salamanders. Many people welcome toads by putting out toad houses because toads eat insects and grubs that can harm backyard gardens. All you need are some trees and ground cover and the American toad and red-backed salamander can call your backyard home.